We're seeing the launch of zero tailpipe emission tractor units at the moment. There's a few coming onto market, but soon there'll be a lot more. What does that mean for a trailer manufacturer? It's been quite a, a change in development. The last five years, we've always been innovative. Generally, it's been to do with the towed axle. Uh, but for us, in the last five years, uh, we've just launched our e-power axle, uh, which is the axle generator. So basically, where we're generating uh, energy to power the battery pack on a trailer, which in turn powers the fridge. If you look at, I've got one particular uh, fleet which runs refrigerated trailers, and I think he said each year his trailer fridge uh, fuel is about works out at about fifteen thousand pounds per trailer. That's pretty much doubled overnight with the the uh, red diesel to white diesel. Mm -hmm. So it's costing him thirty thousand pounds a year per trailer. So it's it's a massive thing where customers are looking to invest. They want to go green, but also they want to counteract um, the amount of, of change in fuel costs. There's now a realization that the trailer and the truck can actually work together you know, for the first time. You know, the trailers are more advanced than ever. I mean, they're still lag behind the trailer, but. You know, from what Glenn's talking about, drive axles and then the technology, EBPMS, TPMS, now they're actually starting to talk to each other because traditionally they haven't. That's right. Yeah. And, they, and now people are seeing that these things, well, one day they might actually be combined. They might not be. It's just the load carrier traditionally. Yeah. It's always like behind on braking, everybody's gone for the bare minimum. Now there's a realisation, I think, that that's just starting to change a little bit, that you've got all this space on the trailer, behind the side doors or wherever, you can actually put something that could aid the truck. Yeah. I think that the trailer has always been seen as the poor relation. Sure. But in effect, it's, you know, whilst it's not pulling the load, it's carrying the load. Um, and if the trailer goes down, everything stops. So realistically, I suppose it's just coming to terms and the technology level is stepping up towards where the trailer is becoming almost as important as the truck. Also from our side, it's made suppliers engage more. So um, just mentioned about our e-power. Um, that was really in collaboration with Thermaking. So normally our two companies would be completely different areas of the market, but actually we both come together um, for a common goal really, which is first and foremost for the customer um, to sort of ease that pain. Um, but it's only something in some cases that we can all work together and that also goes hand in hand with the, with our, our trailer building customers. You know, it's these guys have got to fit them, uh, albeit not, not yourself on the, on the fridge side, but the technologies now are becoming more and more complicated. So they'll give the customer benefit, but also from a fitment point of view, it's also more important that the, our trailer builders are involved so they know, you know how, how they're fitted and, and everything works well. We're very grateful to, to, to our suppliers, you know, SDC, BBW, Denison, MAN, Mercedes, um, Volkswagen, but you've really seen, seen the industry pull together um, uh, as one to say, look, you know, we can do this. It might not have always been easy. We might have been at longer hits quite a lot over the last, uh, uh, you know, couple of years over on price increases because nobody likes them, and obviously I'm under major pressure for my customers yeah. and deliveries and deliveries. Um, but you know, we, we're getting there, and we're working. You know, our customers uh, have been brilliant um, in understanding where we are. We've been able to sweat older assets, so we've been able to, to, to keep uh, the fleet running, whether it be truck with MAN or trailer with SDC and Denison. Um, but you know, we've all kind of worked together to, 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 to get over this problem. And it's been, um, you know, and, and what's coming out of it actually is, is something that's gonna be a lot better than it was when we went into to these issues.